Hello and welcome to Tin's Tips. My name is Tin and today I will be unboxing an, the ASRock Z77 Pro 4 motherboard. Uh, the Z77 Pro 4 motherboard features Intel's newest, newest Z77 chipset that supports uh, the, core in, the core processors from Intel. I mean second generation uh, Sandy Bridge and third generation Ivy Bridge socket LGA 1155. It also features uh, ATI Crossfire X, but not NVIDIA SLI. Now to the unboxing, we have Lucid M uh, Lucid Virtue MVP poster guide, uh, quick installation guide, very thick, many different languages. Uh, software setup guide, aka the BIOS or UEFI. XFast 555 technology from ASRock. And a driver a disk from ASRock. Never use this, use the latest from ASRock website. And we have IO Shield. It is silver because this is a performance, not a performance board. This is a value board. Also, two SATA 3 6 gigabits per second uh, SATA cables. Alright, so the board itself. Never use this plastic bag to put your motherboard on it. It's very static and could prove fatal for your motherboard. Right. The Z77 Pro 4 comes with soft foam about an inch thick. And here is the socket 1155 from Intel, supports Sandy Bridge and Ivy Bridge. We have four slots for DDR3 RAM, supports uh, dual channel and up to 2800 megahertz when overclocked. Um, on the top we have a 4 pin CPU fan header also a 3 pin CPU fan header if you want to do a push pull configuration. An 8 pin power on the right side not on the left side because this board is not ATX it is slightly slimmer on the right side we have 24 pin header uh, power, two SATA ports, two SATA 3 gigabit, 6 gigabits per second ports from a third party controller, a front USB 3.0 header, uh, down here we have six more SATA uh, ports, four of the black ones or say the two six uh, three gigabits, and these two gray ones are say the three six gigabits. These run on the Intel uh, controller. For fan options, we have one power fan, one chassis fan that is PWM. Um, down here we have another chassis fan that is three pin. And that is about it for the fans. Uh, for the slots, we have a PCIe 1X slot, PCIe 3.0 16X slot with uh, a slide lock thing. We have three legacy PCI and one PCIe 2. 16x slots that can be used for crossfire. At the bottom we have a speaker header, front panel header, uh, chassis fan we already talked about, two front USB 3 uh, USB 2.0 ports, uh, a clear CMOS jumper, a serial header, and front audio header. Take a look at the I.O. The I.O. We have a PS2 keyboard 
uh, connector. Many people ask me why uh, some companies still use this on their board. Uh, number one answer is because old, uh, there are still people who use old keyboards that uses PS2 and mechanical keyboards uh, uses PS2 for N key rollover and we have two USB 2's uh, DVI VGA HDMI so that means three display ports for the Intel graphics 4000 two more USB 2 two USB 3's two more USB 2's LAN uh, controller and 7.0 oh, 7.1 uh, audio with SPDIF out and so in total we have six USB 2.0 ports and two USB 3.0 ports and that is about it thank you for watching uh, please comment rate and subscribe